Hey folks, Steph here, and sorry, I don't have a new glass project update. Pardon the noise. But I thought I would do a bit of glass education. Um, one thing I've been seeing a lot of in the fused glass groups, especially the fused glass fanatics, is people who haven't done a lot of casting and get really excited and they do their first cast, and then they come to the group and go, why is my piece cloudy? Why does my piece have so many bubbles? And so I was thinking that one of the easy ways to show this, because I've got a lot of types of, of frit myself, would be to fuse up hearts with uh, various sorts of frit and scrap glass, and then compare them so you can see how the bubbles work out in each sort of, uh, sort of frit you use. Or in the case of this, scrap glass. Um, because I've done somewhere in the realm of 2,500 hearts in the last two years-ish, two and a half. And so I'm pretty well versed in what's going to give you bubbles and what's going to not give you bubbles. So I've devised two different tests. You can see here on the left, I've got one of the Firelight 7055 molds. I've put exactly a quarter ounce of black frit in the bottom of each of these cavities. Um, not exactly 0.25, somewhere between 0.250 and 0.255. I was pretty exact. This particular uh, scale goes two thousandths. And then what I've done is I've taken and I have worked on three quarters of an ounce of each of the following. This is powder. This is fine. This is medium. This is coarse. Excuse me, and this is nipped two millimeter because that's what I happen to have in clear scrap glass handy. You may not be able to read this, but it says 7.755. This one is 0 0.757, 0 0.756, 0 0.758, and 0.758. So they are all within a couple thousandths of each other. And what I'm going to do, pardon the noise, is I'm going to take my powder and put it in this top corner and fill the mold. Now one thing you can see about this is generally I don't fill my molds this high. But look at how much three quarters of an ounce of powder will fill. That's not even the whole thing. I may not even be able to get three quarters of an ounce of powder in this thing. We will see. But you see how much it fills? My average heart is somewhere between 25 and 30 grams, or right at an ounce. Um, and like I said, I've done 2,500 of these. So I can tell you, like some of them, my 2023 style heart, they're more about 15 grams. But my average heart is about an ounce. And I can tell you that most people don't put this much powder and mount it up this high, I'd hope, in their molds. But we'll see what we can do. When it, when it melts down, it's gonna leave a, it's gonna be cloudy as hell. But we're going to try to get as much as we can in here. We'll see what happens. I, again, huh, made it all fantastic. All right, so next we have fine. And this, again, really fills your mold. You shouldn't be using three quarters of an ounce. I mean, if you're using a full ounce of fine frit, something's up. And don't get me wrong, I have students in my classes fill my molds to the brim. Never as bad as the powder mold. But let's pull that and we'll see what happens there. Now medium. Medium I use a lot of. It does give quite a few champagne bubbles, but I use it as a base a lot. Because it doesn't give as many. Okay. Still, this is an overfill. Now we have clear, or not clear, duh, it's clear, uh, coarse, which I use a lot of as a topper. Um, it gives sort of a water uh, effect, like ripples underneath the water, but it works pretty well. And you can see with this one that, again, this is, as, this is fuller than I would like, but actually, no, it's about fine. That looks about right. And then the last one I have, I have nip glass. And like I said, this is two millimeter because this is what I had handy. I'm just going to set it down, because if I pour it, it's going to sit funny. Um, 
And that's fine if there's air bubbles because we want to see how many air bubbles it's going to trap anyway. Or not air bubbles. See if, see if there's air gaps. If there's gaps between the pieces because we want to see about the air bubbles it'll trap. But this is, yeah, this is about what I would put on a, probably not quite this much, on a heart. Now, the other four you see are going to be filled with actual hearts from a Kickstarter. So I'm not going to bother wasting my time, or not wasting my time, wasting your time making you watch me make hearts for the Kickstarter. What I'm going to do instead, crunk, I really need a new chair, is uh, pull out the other mold, which I'll dust real quick. Now here, I'm going to do the same thing, but only with a full ounce of powder. Let's see if this works. Okay, it's at zero. I'm going to tear it for one cup. All right. So there, we have 1.001 pounds of powder, or 1.001 ounces, 1.002 of fine, 999 of medium, which is fine, 998 of coarse, and 1.001 of chunks. And there goes my chair again. Okay, honestly, before we even get going, look at the difference in volume just between the basic four frits. There's twice as much powder as there is coarse, and they're within a few thousandths of weight. So you can tell that things are going to be different if they, if they all want to occupy the same space. Somebody's got to collapse a whole bunch, and somebody doesn't have to collapse much at all. So, let's start filling the mold. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make a full, you know, before I was like, I'm not sure. We'll see if I make it in this one. But, you know, I think it's kind of ridiculous to throw a full ounce of powder in one of these, given how high they stack up. But for science, this is where I hope my boron nitride spray is good. Okay, we're not going to get all of that in there. Well, we'll try. For science. Ugh. There we go. Let's hope for the best, otherwise I may have ruined my mold. Given the way my 2023 is going, that's highly possible. Here's an ounce of the fine. All right. All righty. Then we'll do medium. And last but not least, course. And see, even with course, it's a bit full. I guess that's not last. I've got chunks. And I'm not going to be super careful about... I mean, I'm going to lay them in carefully, but not too careful. I'm not going to do anything that'll scratch the boron nitride. And I do use zip in my stuff. Um, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to deal with kiln washing these. All my casting molds, I use boron nitride. All right. And the black will burn off. It's leftovers from when I was making sun catchers for my class that I volunteer for. And like the previous mold, I'm going to fill the remaining four spots with other hearts that need to be done for the Kickstarter. I'm going to whack everybody into the same kiln on the same schedule, which I'll post below. And we'll see what they come out as in 12 hours. Okay, so I have all the pieces set up and ready to examine. I do not have the chunks of clear hearts on here because I want to show you them last as sort of a special thing. But we are starting with powder, fine, medium, large, or coarse. So let's take a look closer. This is the black backed. And as you can see, it's a pink. A little bit compared to just white. See, this is the white back. A little bit, if you compare the two, you can see that this one's slightly grayer than this one. But for the most part, this is opaqueness. You're going to get cloudy. And if you look at this one, look at the divot on it. There's divot on this one, but it's up here. Come on, there we go. It's up here and along the side. So 
there's some divot for powder. So unless you want a cloudy look, I wouldn't go for it. Little flying pieces of glass. Next we have the fine. And as you can see with this one, it is very bubbly, very pale gray as opposed to black. You're definitely, if you put Murini or something in this, you would not see it. Same goes with the clear. Uh, not any divot on this one. And these were all fired in the same bolts together. Whoops. So no divot on this one, although it's kind of a wonky shape. But again, you don't see my finger well behind it. You can see it move. And when I put it down on the paper, you only get a little bit of the color. So fine for it, not so good. We move into the medium, we're getting better. There we go. Move into the mediums better. There's the backs. The black is definitely, huh, got a piece of dichro in it. Cool. Let me pull it back where you can actually see it. So the medium is bubbly. There's a lot of bubbles here, but if you're doing like a solid color, this might be kind of fun. I kind of like this black with lots of bubbles. And with translucence, maybe it wouldn't be so bad either. There's a lot of bubbles in this, but it's pretty pleasant. Next, this is coarse frit, and this is what I give my students when we make hearts, because as you can see, the uh, bubbling isn't terrible, but it's more spread out and it's larger bubbles, which I kind of like. It doesn't detract from an image. Like if I put Murini in these, you'd see that they're still, come back, fairly easy to see. So I recommend if you can go for it and you can afford yourself coarse frit, use coarse frit if you want to mass produce hearts. But ultimately, here's what I'm gonna recommend to you. I recommend nipping your glass. This is chunks of glass. Um, you can see black back from the side. You can kind of see it. But look, when you look at it, there's a bubble there and a bubble there. There's a lot of little bubbles, but like big bubble, big bubble, big bubble, big bubble, big bubble. And by big bubble, I'm talking something I can see easily as opposed to, oh, tiny bubbles. Nothing. There's nothing here that's even... I'd say maybe a millimeter across, there's one or two. They're generally pretty small bubbles, and I like that. You look here in the clear, it's even more apparent. There's a couple there and one there, two there and two there, and one up there. But largely, this thing is pretty much clear, and this is all nipped glass. Now, if I was to twist it better, you can see there's a small line of bubbles right here on the surface. And if you look in it, you can kind of see in spots where it was joined, like there was a square here and there was a chunk here. But mostly, when you look at it on the purple, you see right through it. So my recommendation to you is either coarse frit if you're mass producing hearts like I do and you need them out quick, or if you've got time, nip up a clear cap because it will um, magnify what's underneath and give you the least amount of distracting bubbles. So again, powder, fine and medium, no. Coarse and chunks of frit, yes. And that's all I have for you today. Um, I will have another video up soon. I'm sorry I've been missing for so long. I just, it's been a year. <laughs>